seems legit. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little bit of something different. Um, I bought some flannelette sheets for my kid so that he's not cold because we live in a really cold place. Uh, but we don't use flat sheets. And instead of it just sitting forever in my cupboard, I've decided to upcycle it. Uh, so the first thing I've done is I've washed it and I put it in the dryer and then I've ironed it. Um, I just so happen to have a 10 inch uh, acrylic template for something non-bag related. Uh, so I'm going to be making mine 10 inch squares just because that's what I have. Uh, if you Google it, they range anywhere from 10 to 9.5 inch rectangles, from 10 to 15. It varies. Um, so what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off this edge. Um, so you can unpick it if you want that extra little bit. I'm really not that fussed about it. I'd prefer it to just be gone. So I'm just going to cut it off. You'll notice I have to angle my um, ruler and that's because it's so thick that it won't actually let me get through it all. Lucky me. So I'm just going to cut off all of this like that. So now I have a straight edge. That can go in the bin. Uh, so now I'm just going to take my 10 inch square. Now I'm going to do it two layers at a time. You also want to make sure that you're skipping this edge. You will need two layers per one wipe. So I'm going to turn this whole thing into these. Uh, there is another way that you can cut this and that is to cut a whole strip of 10 inches and then chop it up if you don't have a rectangle, which I doubt that you do. Not many people have random 10 inch rectangles. It's not part of any of my patterns, so this is an unrelated thing that I'm doing with it. Um, so every two layers is going to be one wipe. Now if you bought several of these, you can do them with different colours. I'm just going to make them all the same. This is not about being pretty, this is about using stuff which I would otherwise just, you know, let die in a cupboard. So, to cut it like this works out really well for me, but since you probably don't have a 10 inch rectangle, I'm going to show you the other way to do it. So, the first thing you want to do is chop off that bit. So we won't be using that edge. And again, if you want to, you can unpick that if you need that little bit more, if they're not quite the right size. But I managed to fit 10 inches along there beautifully without worrying about that edge. So, yay. Alright, so, instead what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half like this. So it's flat. You want to make sure it's all flat. And then we're going to fold it in half again so that it's four layers. You want to make sure that this edge over here is perfectly lined up. That's the important edge. Then I'm going to put it against my cutting board here like so. And again, we want to line up the edges here and then I'm going to cut a 10 inch strip like this all the way through. That edge again is a little bit tricky because it's got those extra layers. So then I'm going to just open this out and cut off that edging there like that. And then I'm going to lay it back, lining up this edge along the bottom, and I'm going to cut it every 10 inches. So we can go at 30, 20, and 10. And so that is now six pieces or three cloths. So that would be another way to cut it. So I am going to finish cutting all of this because I want to use all of it up and have a whole roll of um, paper towel. We actually don't use paper towel in this house in general, but it would be nice to have something to kind of wipe up spills with, which is why I'm doing this. That and I don't know. I could also make pajamas for my kid out of these, but then he'd match his thing and that's probably a bit weird. Um, so I'm going to cut the rest of this up and then we'll go to the sewing machine and I'll show you how, I'll show you two different ways to sew them and why I prefer the way I prefer. Alrighty, so I now have a big pile of 10 inch squares. So there's two ways you can do it. This, I'm going to first show you the way I prefer and then I'm going to show you the other one. So I don't, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to make sure that the parent goes in opposite directions just because I want to. Um, and I won't be using pins for this. You know, you can be super rough. This is probably a really good like starter project. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the edge of the foot as my guide. I'm going to start here, stitch, back stitch, come to the end, needle down and pivot. Then I'm going to line up this corner, line up this edge and stitch. Now I'm going to stop with my needle down. Press, oh, I didn't go, go far enough. No, nope, one more. There we go. As fiddly as that looked, at least I know they're then going to be squared. So off we go again. Now, because I'm making so many, I would actually bulk cut and sew all of these. Uh, but I'm just going to show you one of each style and then you can decide which way you want to do them. This way takes longer, uh, but I personally think they're more hygienic and stronger because we're all rough with stuff in this house. So we need to leave a gap, so I'm going to just sew it here like this and then back stitch. Lift up that. So I've left a gap here. Now to get nice pointy corners, you will probably want to come and just trim off your corner bits. Now you don't want to just cut at a 45 degree angle. Doing that looks cool and seems quicker, but you won't get a good a point unless you cut a little bit further in. Um, you don't have to be neat about it. Put it in the bin. So then I'm going to turn it through the hole. Wait, where is the hole? There's the hole. So you don't have to leave a very big hole. Um, and you can do one side flannelette, one side terry toweling, or you could get like some scrubby ones and put a, a layer of like polyester mesh over it and it would be a really good like scrubbing dishcloth. Got lots of options, but that's a good size. So now I'm just going to top stitch and I'm going to start in the corner and I'm just going to pull tight. This is where the opening is. I'm just going to pull it tight and then stitch it. Nothing fancy. I'm not, I'm not ironing them flat or anything. They're just a bit rough. down, lift up, pivot. You do want to try and be on the edge though. And then if you need really, really big ones, what else we're going to do? Now I won't be doing this to all of them because that's not very big, so I won't need to. But if you've done really big ones, I'll show you. Once we go back to the corner, this, you're then going to sew a diagonal line. And then back stitch, pull it out and trim it off. So that will then help hold it together and then you can do, if you've done, again, if you've done big ones, stitch, back stitch and then we're going to stitch to the other corner. Now again, this doesn't have to be perfect, uh, but if you don't think you can sew a straight line, rule it with something erasable. And now you have one of many dishcloths, right? So it's, or not dishcloths, unpaper towel. So the flannel light helps it be very absorbent uh, and it's double layered, so it'll actually like pick up a spill. But you could also use it as a washcloth or a dusting rag. You could have different colours and they'll do different stuff. So that's one way. The other way, which I don't like as much, but I'm going to do one anyway. And I'm going to do it in blue because I'm not changing over the overlocker. And that is to have them with the print side out on both sides. And then I'm going to start here. And we're going to overlock the edge. And then when we get to the corners, we're going to round off the corners. So we're just going to cut a bit off, like this. Like that, and trim off the edge. 
Now the reason I don't like this as much is because I feel like a lot of dirt and stuff can really get stuck in the overlapping. They feel less hygienic to me. But if you're using them as dusting cloths, it probably wouldn't matter as much. You just round off that corner. And I'm going to round off that first corner. And run off the edge. So they are a much quicker option. Um, but I... I don't love the overlocking around the edge. Um, I feel like it could get really dirty really, really quickly. But that is two ways to basically make the same thing. You, if you did have just one, this was just a single sheet, by the way. There was like heaps there. But you could do some, so these could be designated to dusting only, and these could be your unpaper towel. Like if, if you don't need that many unpaper towels. Um, so you could do like half and half and then have like an assortment to clean different parts of your house and you'll be able to identify by the edgings. Um, so I am going to spend the next, I don't know, hour or two sewing up all of these like this one, uh, but without the crisscross because this one I don't think is big enough to need it. And then I will have unpaper towel in my house finally. Um, and then you just hot wash them and you can throw some disinfectant stuff in there if you want to. Eucalyptus is always good for stuff like that. Um, and then you just wrap them. You can either wrap them around a like a core or you can just get one of those paper towels and do it. I have seen where people put Velcro. Again, don't like that idea. Uh, it'll get rough and potentially scratch stuff. Um, and I have seen them with the press studs as well. But again, uh, don't like that idea because, again, it could scratch things. Depending on what you're wiping, you just don't necessarily need it. So they will just kind of stick to each other. For the most part, like that's one. I know that's only one, but once you wrap a few around, they should be good to go. Uh, but obviously, if you want to, you would put, if you want to do the press studs, you put them in the very, very corners right at the edge, and then have the opposite on the other end, and you would just do that throughout all of them, and then they would clip together or Velcro. So you just put like a little bit of Velcro in the top and the bottom. You don't need a whole strip of it, that's excessive. And a little bit wasteful because uh, the whole point of these is to be cheap and eco-friendly um, but yeah there you go guys even I did blue on that it actually doesn't really stand out too much which is nice uh, so I might make a few dusting rags but mainly I'm gonna stick with the unpaper towel uh, so if you make some join my Facebook group and show me what cool print you got all right guys bye